What's up, YouTube? Smells like Vin here, and um, I'm gonna do a review today. Um, now I'm in a bit of a different area. Um, I'm actually in my downstairs basement. Um, but it's a lot more quiet uh, and kind of easier for me to focus. So uh, today I'm gonna be talking about the fantastic 2007 release, Dandelion Gum by Black Moth Super Rainbow. Now I'm not too experienced with electronic music. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and pretend I, I I know a lot about something I don't. I'm not very experienced with it, but I wanted to. So I, I, I kinda thought, what is a band that's interesting that'll get me turned on to electronic music? And I don't think I could have picked a better band than Black Moth Super Rainbow. Now Black Moth Super Rainbow <laughs> Um, were a band that turned up, um, early 2000s, pretty sure 03 was when their debut came out. And they're a band that mixes hip-hop beats with really warm synthesizers and organs and vocal vocals. And they have a weird, weird sound. Because they have weird, weird lyrics. And... When all these elements combine, it creates the signature sound that these guys have. And it's a sound that is very warm, very feel-good, and, and very full and, and thick with sound. It's, it's a very colorful sound, which is why I enjoy it so much. So, Dandelion Gum. Uh, this album has a lot of things that make it good. One is just the the sounds like I said earlier very colorful and what I mean by that is there's a lot of different sounds and textures um textures excuse me are uh, kind of mixed and you get a a wall of organs synthesizers beats sounds I don't even know the names of samples you just get all these weird weird sounds that that create either a really warm kind of floaty airy feeling or maybe uh, a hip hop feel like in the song Melt Me or uh, a very industrial feel like in the song Lopsy Chord and, and, and every song is different that's the thing every song has its own personality. There's no songs where you're like, okay, that sounds a bit too similar from what I just heard. Every song has its own distinct personality and stands on its own. Every track is a standout track. And that's one of the great things about this record. Uh, another thing is the beats. The beats, like I said, are kind of hip-hop influenced. They have sort of a groove on them, and the cool thing about them is they always have an effect. Either, like in the song Drippy Eyes, that, that, that intro beat is staticky. It, it's thick with sound, even though it's just a single beat. Each bass kick is really, boom, has a lot of weight to it, and it's thick and, and fuzzy and, it, and, and staticky, and it really holds that kind of lo-fi electronic sound. Uh, that the album has, and uh, it's great. Uh, another thing is the album is catchy as hell. Songs like Forever Heavy, Neon Syrup for Cemetery Sisters, uh, again, the names are really weird, and Drippy Eyes have really catchy, catchy hooks that, that the first time you hear them, it pulls you in and makes you really interested in listening on. Um... The production of the album is perfect because it's not too clean where it kind of it, it gets cold like I said about a million times it's warm that's the sound I'm gonna use a lot not the sound the word excuse me I'm gonna use a lot to describe its sound it's very warm it sounds very kind of just just played with a lot of heart, even though it's electronic music. I feel like electronic music sometimes seems cold. It sometimes seems sort of too constructed. 
this album, very floaty, very airy, very... Just, just played with a lot of heart, and and that's what I like about it. Uh, production again is is sort of low fi in some points. Like I said, the beats are very staticky and fuzzy, uh, but that adds to the to the sound. Uh, but the thing is, although there are so many sounds and textures floating through these songs, they never get muddy. They never get to the point where you can't hear what's going on, or you feel like you can't distinguish one sound from another. It never gets meshed. It never gets muddy. Everything is clean and precise, but at the you know the same time fuzzy and static. So its production is perfect. Totally fits the sound of Dandelion Gum. Um, uh, the flow <laughs> again. The flow is great. The flow is something that keeps keeps you listening. That's what's so great. When I first popped this in, I didn't know... Well, I shouldn't say popped in it and played it on my iPod. Uh, um, I kind of didn't know what to expect, but once I got through the first song, Forever Heavy, which is an amazing song, I was hooked. And I, I didn't know, you never know what to expect. And because every song is so different, it's constantly surprising you. And that's what I love about it. You don't know what the hell's gonna happen next. You don't know what weird synthesizer is gonna come up. You don't know what weird lyrics are gonna shine through these songs and create these images in your head, really vivid imagery. So the whole album is like this musical journey that you're like embarking on, and it feels great. Um, so, yeah, this album is great. If you're into weird music, if you're into kind of, some most of the time, instrumental music, that's the thing, too. The vocal or vocals are pretty indiscernible. You really can't hear what they're saying most of the time. Um, they're almost used as another instrument, which I, I like a lot. Um, but, but again, adds to it. Adds to the thick, full, rich sound that the album has. So, Dandelion Gum, I'm probably gonna have to give this one a 9.5. I'm loving it. I will definitely check out more from these guys. They really seem like a band that's doing a lot of new and interesting things. Uh, their last release, I believe, was 09. I might be wrong. So, if I am, excuse me. Uh, but, yeah, check it out if you're into electronic experimental music. Um, subscribe. And please, if you guys can, share my videos with your friends who also enjoy music. Um, I have 31 subscribers right now, and I love doing this, uh, and, and, I, yeah, you know, if you guys could maybe share it with your friends, if you enjoy it, comment, kind of send it around, get the word out, uh, that I'm doing this, I really appreciate it, and if you do, tell me that you did, and I will sub you, of course, um, and of course, you know, I'll turn the favor, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.